welcome to another Green Marble Crochet tutorial. For this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make this beanie. Yeah. Just a design that I came up with the other day. Um, and, yeah, everybody's making beanies, so I felt left out. So here we are, and we're making this. Okay, yes. Um, yeah, so I made it with this really beautiful, um, I think it's like half merino wool. I think the rest is, acry uh, is acrylic. Um, the problem is that when I use when I use real wool, I get a little hay feverish, which is really annoying. But you know, here we are. That's what happens. Um, I absolutely adore this beanie. I think it's gorgeous. I love the colors. So beautiful. Um, only problem is I can't wear it for too long because my face starts getting itchy and my nose starts getting itchy. If I drink anything like red wine, my face goes all red. Yeah woe is me, right? Anyway, doesn't matter because um, I've also made this. Also, this yarn is chunkier, obviously, than this yarn that I used to do the prototype. This is the one I made in the tutorial. Um, so this is smaller. It does actually look better when it's smaller. So as you can see, like the stitches are tighter, it's just a smaller beanie. Um, so yeah, this one is really cute. Um, obviously, colours are not as pretty, but you know. It's okay. So yeah, that's what we're doing. We're making this beanie. Um, I'm proud of this design. I really like it. So yeah, I hope you like it too. Um, if you haven't subscribed, but you'd like to subscribe to join me for some more tutorials, I would love to have you join me. Uh, thank you to my patrons. Thank you for your support. Thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching my videos. Um, and there's not a lot more we need to say right now, so we should just get straight into making this beanie. Alright, so to begin, let's have a quick look at the tiny details, tiny details on the label, and then we'll get started. So, I'll just quickly run you through that. Pause the video if you need to have a little more time to have a look at anything. But yeah, we're just going to run through it quickly. So, it's made in Italy, and it's Mondial. Merino Plus, so 52% lana wool, 48% microfiber superwash, um, so yeah, I think you can wash this, so yeah, 30 degrees wash, um, it's saying to use a 5.5 or a 6.5 millimeter hook, so I'm going to be using a 6 for this, um, yeah, I think that's going to be the right size, alright, so I'm going to be using my 6. And we should just get started. Alright, so we'll begin by finding the end of our yarn. And we're going to start by making a slip knot. So make a slip knot and adjust the knot to the hook. And we're going to begin by making a chain of nine. So to make a chain is yarn over, pull through. So that's chain one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through, so that's three, so make a chain of nine. So there's our chain of nine. Now what we're going to do is we're going to be skipping that first chain back from the hook. So that one just there, you're going to skip that and you're going to put a single crochet into the second chain back from the hook. So not that one, but that one just there, insert your hook into the top part of that chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and that's a single crochet. Then you're going to put a single crochet into the seven remaining chains all the way back to the beginning. So, just like that, all the way back to the beginning. Okay, and there you are with your eight single crochets on that beginning foundation chain. So, our next step is to make sure you've got plenty of yarn and you're going to chain up one, so yarn over, chain up one, then turn the work to the other side. Now what you're going to do is you're going to be putting your first and your last stitch of every row through the whole of the stitch. And what I mean by that is you see on top of the stitch there's that V. What you're going to do is you're going to go in through the side just there, beneath both parts of that V, just like that. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two for a single crochet. But for stitches two through to seven, you're going to go into the top back part of that V. 
So there's the V on top, just into that top back part there, insert your hook like that. Hang on, get a bit closer. So into that top back part, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through, so a single crochet like that. So that's for stitches 2 through to 7. You're going to be going into the top back part of the V. Then once you get to the 8th stitch, you'll go through the whole of the stitch again. But I'll meet back up with you when we get to that point. So here I am at that 8th stitch at the end. So we're going to go beneath both parts of the V. Like that. Yarn over, pull up. Yarn over, pull through 2. So just like that. And that's going to be, you're going to repeat that. Um, I'm going to be doing 72 rows, so chain up one, turn the work, first stitch through the whole of the stitch, stitches two through to seven through the top back part of that V on the top of the stitch. So yeah, I'll be doing a total of 70 rows. So we're doing it like this because this forms a ribbed pattern. So just like that, until you get to the end. So yeah, I'll meet back up with you once I've done 72 rows, and we'll talk about what we're going to do next. Okay, now that I've completed my 72 rows of ribbing, I'm going to join both ends together. So to do that, we're going to take the hook out for a second, and then turning, turning it to the other side, so turn your work to the other side. You're going to fold it in half like this. So folding both ends together like this, what you're going to do is you're going to put the hook through the corresponding foundation chain on the other side or on the other end. So just there. And then you're going to grab that loop from the last stitch and you're going to pull that through just like that. So that's joining the first stitch and the first, well, the first of the corresponding foundation chains. So moving on to the next one, the next chain along, you're going to put your hook through. And then moving on to the next stitch along in the last row. So that's number two. Then moving on to the next chain and the next stitch. So three, and you're going to do that for all eight stitches. And then once we've joined, we'll meet back up and we'll talk about what to do next. Okay, so here I am and I've joined all those stitches to the foundation chain. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it this way and then fold it inside out. Because we're going to be working on the other side now. So we're folding it inside out, then turning back to this side, we're going to pick up that loop again. So picking up the loop just like this. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting double crochets into all the row ends. So to begin we're going to straight from that loop just there where we've our last slip stitch. So we're going to chain up two, so one and two. Then moving on to the first row end, so just there. You'll be able to see the row ends pretty easily, they're pretty clearly marked out. So that's the reason we went through the whole of the first and the last stitch, because it easily marks out the row ends. Anyway, so moving on to the first row end, we're going to put a double crochet. So double crochet is yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So there's that first one into that first row end. Then moving on to the next row end, so that's two. So at the end, when you get to the end of the round, you will have 72 double crochets. So once you've got your 72 double crochets done, we'll meet back up and we'll talk about what we're going to do next. All right, here I am at the end of the round and I've put in my 72 double crochets all the way till the end. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find that chain two from the beginning. So let's close up. Just there, there's that chain two from the beginning. I'm going to slip stitch into the stitch just above that, into the top of the chain two, to close the round, just like that. And we've closed the round, okay. So what we're going to do next is we're going to chain up one. And we're going to be putting half double crochets in for this round, but what we're going to be doing is we're not going to be going through the whole stitch like you normally would. So you would normally, we're going to be starting with the first stitch just there. So normally for a half double crochet, you would yarn over, 
insert your stitch through the hole of the stitch, just like that, between both of those Vs, or both parts of that V. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. So that's a half double crochet. Then you move on to the next stitch, half double crochet. But we're not going to be doing that. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing sort of a, a back post. I think it's a back post, front post, no. Yeah, a back post stitch. But we're not, for, okay. For back posts, usually what you do with double crochets is you go in and you go around the entire post of the stitch like this. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through th three. And that would be a normal back post. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be yarn over, then we're going to go in through the top of that stitch. So just in through the side there, and then out through the other side, just there. So we're going to be back posting through the top part of the stitch, and we're doing half double crochets like that. So we'll do that again into the next stitch. So half double crochet, yarn over. Then going in behind the stitch, just like that, out through that side. Then pushing the hook in front of the stitch, just like that, at the top. Out through the other side. I hope you can see that. I hope that makes sense. So in through there, out through there. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through three. So once again, in through the next stitch. So in through the side of the next stitch, just there. Push your hook in front, go out through the other side. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through three. So you're going to be doing 72 of those all the way around. And see, that's just going to create this nice sort of braided effect. Anyway, so we're going to put in our 72 half double crochets, and then we'll meet back up and we'll talk about the next round. All right, now that I've put my 72 half double, well, no, I'm about to put in my 72nd half double crochet in around through that last stitch just there. So that's 72 and into the top of this uh, chain one from the beginning so just there we're going to slip stitch to close the round so just like that and close the round okay now moving on to the next round we're going to do single crochets so chain up one and it's just like the last well it's like the last round that we did we're going in through that top post part of the stitch so Pushing a stitch, or you hook through the stitch side just like that. Push it in front of the stitch and then out through the other side. Pull up a loop, single crochet. So you're doing 72 single crochets all the way around. We'll meet back up at the end and so just like that. And that's going to create another braided effect. I hope you can see that. I hope that's made sense. Anyway, we'll meet back up once you've put in your 72 single crochets and we'll talk about the next round. All right, now here I am at the end of that round with all my single crochets and I'm going to find the chain one from the beginning of the round. I'm going to slip stitch into the top of that. So that's just there and there is the chain one at the top. Slip stitch, close the round. Okay, now for our next round, I don't exactly know what this stitch is called, so I've just been calling it the um, sideways pick up five stitch. I know that's probably not, you know, great, but anyway, that's what I've been calling it. Um, so, let's do that. To do that, I've chained up one, and, okay, bear with me. What we're doing is we're going into the top back part of the V on top of the stitch. So we're going to go into that stitch, pick up a loop, pull through, leave that loop on the hook, go into the next stitch, insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, leave that on the, ho on the hook, into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. So we've got one, two, one, one, two, three, next one, four, and then the next one along, Five. So you've got six loops on the hook. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then you yarn over, pull through all six loops. Chain one. Then see that little part, that little joiner just there at the top of the cluster of those loops. Go in through there. So put your hook in through that part. Yarn over, pull up a loop through that. Then on the last loop along just here, Insert your hook in beside that loop. So see just there, there's that last loop. Go in beside that, just there. Yarn over, 
pull up a loop through there like that then into that last stitch of the last loop yarn over pull up a loop through that stitch then moving on to the next two stitches along insert your hook yarn over pull up a loop insert your hook into the next stitch along yarn over pull up a loop so now you've once again got six loops on the hook one two three four five six yarn over pull through all six so let's do that together again we chain one and you see there's that space just above that cluster you're going to insert your hook into that yarn over pull up a loop then moving into the space just before the last loop you're going to insert your hook in beside that yarn over pull up a loop through that space then into the last stitch of this cluster so the last one just there insert your hook yarn over pull up a loop then the next two stitches along yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull up a loop then yarn over pull through all six and just repeat that process till you get to the end of the round I'll meet you when you get to your last cluster we'll talk about how to finish the round and we'll talk about how to do the next one okay now here I am on my last sideways cluster of the round so I'm going to secure that with a chain then I'm going to pick up a loop through that securing chain and slip stitch then moving on to that space between the first and the second loop just there going to slip stitch again then into that last stitch where that last loop is we're going to single crochet and that finishes up the round and then you're going to slip stitch into that chain one from the beginning which is the first loop of the first cluster oh. first loop of the first cluster so slip stitch close the round just like that okay so moving on to the next round which is one two three four round five so we're going to for round five chain up one and we're going to be putting single crochets all the way around there should be 72 single crochets so to do this what we do for every first um, stitch <laughs> so there's like one two one two so every first one is going to be in the top back part of the loop so in through there just like we did for the ribbing but every second stitch is going to be into the top of that cluster so just through there single crochet then moving on into the top back part of the loop just there A single crochet then moving on into that space between the cluster just there or above the cluster so that's how you're going to go to the end of the round uh, make sure you've got 72 by the end and then once we get to that point we're going to meet back up and we're going to talk about how to do round six okay here I am at 71 and 72 and we're going to slip stitch into the top of that chain one from the beginning of the round and that is round five okay moving on to round six we're going to chain up one and we're going to be putting half double crochets 72 half double crochets all the way around and again we're going to be going into the top back part of that V at the top of the stitch so yarn over hook into the top back part yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through three so we're going to be doing half double crochets all the way around like that meet back up with you at the end of the round and we'll talk about round seven.